Whether you need portable refrigeration to transport your produce to market, keep your game meat cool in the field, transport your culinary delights to a catered event, or keep kegs of your brew cold at a festival, we've got you covered at CoolBot. By taking almost any enclosed trailer, a window air conditioner, foam board insulation, the patented CoolBot, and your handyman skills, you can build your very own CoolBot refrigerated trailer. Thousands of CoolBot customers have made their very own CoolBot refrigerated trailers. Is it a time you had your own CoolBot refrigerated trailer? Watch the entire video or jump ahead to the section you are interested in. Whether a small 5-foot trailer, a large 20-foot trailer, or even a full-size semi-trailer, CoolBot customers have done it all, and you can too. To start, we recommend removing non-structural wood from the cooler to reduce weight and prevent water damage if your cooler ever sweats. In most trailers, the wood on the walls is non-structural and can be removed, whereas the wood on the ceiling is often structural. Do not remove the wood from the floor. Most people mount the air conditioner centered on the front of their trailer. Take care to position the air conditioner low enough to account for the thickness of the ceiling insulation. Lay out the location for the air conditioner on the inside trailer wall by making sure that the opening is at least one half inch wider and one half inch taller than the size of the air conditioner. Drill a hole in each of the four corners that is large enough for a jigsaw blade to go through. From either the inside or the outside, cut from hole to hole with the jigsaw. Support members may require a sawzall to cut through. Remove and discard the cutout piece. We recommend constructing a metal frame around the perimeter of the air conditioner opening for fastening of the air conditioner to the trailer. As an alternative, some people choose to build a shelf on the outside of the trailer that supports the air conditioner. Our trailer has a rounded front, so we added horizontal supports to square the front of the trailer, making installation of the insulation easier. Oil-based kills or a comparable primer will protect the wood from water damage if your cooler ever sweats. Paint all exposed wood as well as any metal added for supporting the air conditioner. Use rigid foam insulation for your trailer. Do not use fiberglass bat or other loose type insulations. We recommend two layers of two inch rigid R-Max insulation for the floor, minimum R25. Measure and cut the insulation to cover the floor. Apply heavy-duty construction adhesive to the existing wood floor. Lay the insulation over the adhesive and apply weight to ensure a strong bond. Tape all insulation joints with metal HVAC tape to provide maximum insulation value. Apply heavy-duty construction adhesive to the first layer of insulation and place the second layer of insulation on top. Tape all insulation joints with metal HVAC tape. Measure and cut 3 quarter inch treated exterior plywood to cover the insulation. Apply heavy duty construction adhesive to the insulation. Lay the plywood over the adhesive and apply weight to ensure a strong bond. Using coated screws, fasten the top plywood through the foam insulation to the lower plywood. Screws should be spaced 8 to 12 inches apart. Many options are possible for the floor painted wood, VCT tile, linoleum, and so forth. We use linoleum for our trailer. Measure and cut linoleum to cover the floor. The walls will extend in four inches on each side, so the linoleum can be undersized to make installation easier. Apply contact cement, per the manufacturer's recommendations, to the back of the linoleum and to the plywood floor. Carefully install the linoleum on top of the plywood and apply weight to ensure a strong bond. We recommend two layers of two inch or one layer of four inch rigid R-Max insulation for the walls and ceiling, minimum R25. Measure and cut the insulation to cover the walls, tapering and notching as appropriate to ensure a tight fit. Mark the trailer stud line on the insulation. Apply heavy duty construction adhesive to the studs. Using self-drilling screws with large plastic washers, Fasten the insulation to the trailer studs. Screws should be spaced 10 to 14 inches apart. Use spray foam to fill any gaps in the insulation. Tape all insulation joints with metal HVAC tape to provide maximum insulation value. 
Apply heavy duty construction adhesive to the first layer of insulation. Place the second layer of insulation over the first and press firmly to ensure a strong bond. If needed, brace the insulation in place, especially the ceiling. Repeat the process just completed for insulating the walls to insulate the ceiling. When all of the insulation is in place and the adhesive is cured, fill any remaining gaps with spray foam and tape any remaining joints. We recommend fully taping the perimeters of the doors and the air conditioner opening with 6-inch wide metal HVAC tape. Most people finish the inside of their trailer with FRP or painted plywood. We will show you how to finish your trailer with FRP. The process for plywood is similar. Measure and cut the FRP to cover the walls and ceiling, cutting undersized as appropriate to allow room for the FRP center and corner strips. Following the manufacturer's recommendations, apply FRP adhesive to either the insulation or the backside of the FRP. Place the FRP over the insulation and press firmly to ensure a strong bond. Install FRP center and corner strips between the FRP panels. Install adjacent panels by interlocking into the FRP center and corner strips. It will probably be necessary to brace the FRP in place, especially the ceiling and doors. Any exposed insulation around the doorways should be covered with a combination of painted wood and metal trim. The wood and metal can be secured with a combination of construction adhesive and coated screws. Your trailer is now ready for the air conditioner and cool bot. Go to our website for detailed videos on air conditioner and cool bot installation. Once your air conditioner is installed, we recommend installing a strong metal screen to protect the air conditioner fins from rock damage while traveling. Only screw into the air conditioner housing with the air conditioner removed so you do not inadvertently puncture a refrigerant coil. There are many options for powering your new CoolBot trailer cooler. The easiest solution is to run an extension cord from an electrical outlet to your trailer. For remote applications, an appropriately sized generator is a convenient option. You can even mount the generator on the front of your trailer to provide electricity while traveling. More economical than a generator is to connect an inverter to the battery of your car. Your vehicle must be running for the inverter to provide electricity. The revolutionary CoolBot allows you to have your very own refrigerated trailer at a fraction of the cost of a commercial refrigerated trailer. Join more than 40,000 satisfied users and have your own CoolBot refrigerated trailer. Visit our website for additional instructional videos and downloadable plans for trailer coolers, shed-style coolers, and even restaurant-style coolers.